Hey everyone, it's Pastor Anna. I hope you guys are having a very blessed day. Uh, today, I just wanted to remind you that God loves you. He wants to spend time with you and he knows what you're going through and he sees everything. We can come to him just the way we are. Sometimes I think that we get caught up thinking that we have to be in the right mindset to spend time with God or we need to accomplish X, Y, Z before we can sit down and spend time with God. Or maybe even there's a specific time of day or place that we like to be. And outside of that, we kind of forget to spend time with God. I find myself, uh, particularly myself, wanting to get through or get done certain things before I spend time with God. Um, I'm also a mom of two, so oftentimes I will put down both of my kids for their afternoon nap, and then I will grab my Bible and sit down and do it. And there's nothing wrong with that, uh, not at all. In fact, it's a very good habit to pick up your Bible and intentionally set time aside in your day to be with the Lord. But I often find that I have to remind myself to have a conversation with God as I'm going about my mundane tasks, as I'm going through my day, as I'm feeding my kids for, I don't know, the eighth time, as I'm changing another diaper, as I'm doing all the mountains of loads of laundry, as I'm going to the grocery store to pick up food, as I'm, I don't know, you, you name it, working throughout the day. We all have lots and lots of things that we do day in and day out. Um, but nothing about our relationship with God has to be on our horizontal timeline. I like to think of our day as uh, we have a starting point and we have an ending point. And it goes, everything in between goes on this horizontal timeline. Eyes are open. We do X, Y, Z, blah, 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 all these little dots on our timeline of things we have to do. And then our end, we close our eyes, we go to sleep. So our day may end, our start and end on a horizontal timeline, but our relationship with God doesn't have to be that way. It can be a vertical relationship. So instead of horizontal, if we center our relationship with God as vertical, not just another point on our timeline for the day, but as a vertical relationship, we take that relationship with us from the time we open our eyes through everything that we have for that for the day to the moment that we close our eyes he comes with us all throughout it and that means that we're in constant conversation with god when we do our work when we do our mundane task when we care for our homes when we care for our our friends and families in our moments of weakness when our day is not going well we keep god right beside us through it all and we don't just leave him at church on sundays or wednesdays after we've done our time there. Uh, he's not left behind when we close our Bible, when we are done with our devotional time for the day. We take him with us. We let him saturate every part of our lives, letting the Holy Spirit convict us and refine us, growing deeper in our relationship as we go about each and every day. And it all starts with us acknowledging him throughout our day. And it takes a little bit of time to train our mind to be able to be in constant communication and to be aware and watch him at work in our lives, giving us direction, telling us how he wants us to live, and maybe even hopefully showing us who to witness to, to tell others about him because he's coming back real soon. There is nothing more rewarding than a relationship with Christ, letting him see us completely in our best and in our mess. So be encouraged. He knows you. He knit you together in your mother's womb. He knows every hair on your head and he has called you by name. Take him with you through your entire day. Not just on Sundays, not just on Wednesdays, not just from that time that you have your Bible open to when it's shut, but let him be with you. Pray to him, communicate with him, keep your eyes peeled because he is working in each of our lives. And he has wonderful, amazing plans for each of us. He loves you so, so much. Let me pray for you real quick. Dear God, we thank you for each day that you've given us, Lord. Thank you that you have beauty and wonder and amazing things for us, Lord. Help us to always see you, God. 
Help us to tune our hearts to you, to keep our eyes peeled for what you're doing. Lord, help us to train our mind and our hearts to be in constant communication. Let us um, keep you there in our mess, in our moments of weakness, and in the times that are the very best, God. Lord, help us to tune our hearts to your Holy Spirit. Help us to witness to others. Help us to tell others about you. Lord, help us to remember that you are coming back so soon and that we can rejoice because we'll get to be with you soon. Lord, we love you. I pray that you bless all those who are watching this video and bless all those that um, are in your kingdom, God. We love you and we praise you. In your name I pray. Amen.